Good day, everyone. Welcome to channel AMAC, your insight to the Australian visa system. My name is Carl Young, registered migration agent. Today, I would like to share a news article which was published uh, late yesterday, which I received on the Australian news paper. Uh, it generally comes from an industry buddy. Uh, basically criticizing the the uh, the recent changes or the uh, upcoming changes for the immigration policies where uh, they described it as fantasy <laughs> well uh, in some aspects I believe uh, uh, it, it is uh, and it ha it does have a lot of issues where um, I mean but every policy it, it, it's not gonna be perfect but the um, I believe the, the the comments or the article had mentioned is quite true, uh, and they um, they basically uh, propose that the the upcoming uh, government because the uh, the general election is coming up on the 18th of May, so whichever the party will actually win and holds the power in Canberra uh, should really reconsider how the immigration policy should really be implemented for 2019 and the incoming future. Uh, it's very interesting, uh, and it's it's a reason that I wanted to uh, bring attention to all the viewers and friends over on YouTube and Facebook uh, to actually know about it. Because all we want to do is to provide the most accurate and updated information. And, and this is very vital because the, the, the actual topic has been going on um, for quite a while, I believe, well, must have been there two or three years, but it's all on the table where uh, it's not really going on the public where the politicians are really looking in a debate or discussion about, but I believe it's, it's really the matter there. So let me take you into the actual news article on the Australian newspaper. So here we go. Okay, so this was on the uh, Thursday, oh no no that's today's day anyway. But the the article was uh, was yesterday I believe. Yes, yeah, seventeenth. Oh no, um, yeah, seventeenth. That was yesterday. Okay. Uh, so Migration Council of Australia has called incoming government to overhaul Im immigration portfolio and warning on mismanagement. So basically, what they're saying is uh, they don't believe all these newly implemented or upcoming uh, policies will actually enhance. Uh, what the economy of Australia is is needed, okay? So, uh, which in some aspects, um, I'm on that side as well, because what it really mentioned is that the uh, uh, the politicians are more looking towards winning the votes and polls rather than actually looking into the nitty gritty of the issue. Uh, for instance, the reducing the migration level does matter because it will really and significantly affect the economy of Australia which um, over the past few years we have seen uh, obviously there's are there are other policies in effect to the other sectors like a banking property real estate retail uh, obviously um, and also a lot of other industries as well which I'm not quite uh, familiar with but I do know there are a lot of impact for the past few years whether or not uh, migration contributes to those factors uh, there, there must be very there must be some sort of ratio in there as well okay now another thing is they basically mentioned about the, uh, the backpackers and the students here uh, what they're saying is uh, the crime of the city uh, where the, the populated city like Sydney and Melbourne uh, the issue is not quite about the permanent residency intake where uh, the politician has been talked about for the past three, four years. It's more about the international students, numbers of international students, backpackers, travelers going there, okay? Uh, temporary visa holders there. Now, all the policies has been discussed for the past was all mentioning about moving permanent residents into regional areas. But again, coming back to the... Uh, the the news that we have i have published and also announced on together uh, well after the governments so i have 
updated the news to everyone on the four, uh, 9th of April, where they wanted to cease and terminate the current 187 visa and replace it with the 494, remember? Now, it still have that law in there saying that it requires a person to have skill assessments and plus three years of work experiences. Uh, obviously, there's a clause there. They, they, there's exemptions, or uh, minister can uh, can elect uh, certain occupations not require um, such work experiences. But uh, if you do take that into account, uh, a person who has three years of experience, who is a highly profile manager, would they consider regional Australia, or they can still lodge a one A six visas? into the city so that's that is why migration Australia, the council, migration council of australia is concerning where the policy maker is generally looking away or the politicians are looking away to win the votes rather than actually solving the issues there so uh it's an open question now they um giving back to the upcoming um government after the 18th of may whether or not it's going to be a liberal party or labor party to reconsider and possibly reinvent um, the whole immigration system. Um, well, I in some in some aspects, um, I'm on that side as well because I don't think the current system will actually fix the the issues of populated cities and the the regional skill visas with that category. Um, I don't think it's in, it does provide that incentive or attraction enough uh, for people to actually go to regional. Obviously, there will be some, but I don't think we will actually uh, giving that, you know, that type of um, things. Anyway, uh, that's all my comment, and um, it's it's not on the news yet. So. Um, if you do like our channel, make sure you um, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. Uh, I believe um, the upcoming month uh, all the way towards uh, 18th of May will be a very exciting period where there will be a lot of uh, announcements whether or not they want to win the boat uh, or they're actually looking to change and make Australia a better place for migrations. Anyway, that's all for the news today. Thank you.